click, click. Hello everyone, this is Take from BigHeadTaco.com and I'm coming to you here live from, well it's not live, it's live for me anyways, but uh, up here in Whistler, Balsam Park, just uh, south of uh, Highway Number 99 along Lorimer Road. And I'm here for the weekend and I decided to uh, do a bit of a video up here. Uh, why? Because I have a few pretty cool cameras that I've been reviewing for the last few weeks and within the ecosystem of the cameras I've been reviewing I seem to be jumping around a lot from Leicas to Fujifilms mostly mirrorless a lot of them are interchangeable lens cameras some of them are not but uh, I had the opportunity to review for uh, Ricoh imaging and I've done Ricohs before but uh, those are my own personal cameras. So now I am officially on the media list with uh, Ricoh Imaging Canada. And they asked what camera did I want to review. Now, this is before the GR2 was announced. And I, basically, I was choosing between the Pentax 645Z or the, the Q system. So obviously, being Big Head Taco, I decided I'm going to review the Q. The reason? Because cameras like this are great for the street as well as they're kind of quirky and I wanted to uh, review a bit of a quirky camera so uh, this camera I brought up to Whistler as well as now I brought this up my Ricoh GRD4 just so that I can hold it to show um, I actually brought my regular GR my APS-C size sensor GR the GR5 I guess unofficially it's called um, just to show you in terms of the size and uh, also I brought the uh, Fujifilm, it's the smallest of the X series cameras, it's the XQ2. So you can sort of see the size, the XQ2, the GRD4, and the Pentax Q. So these are all very small, minimalist type cameras, but you know, all three of these fit inside. Uh, I have these three, plus I have my pair of old um, Minolta binoculars. So it all fit inside my little tiny. This is my vacation bag, a bag that's the right enough, the big enough size so I can carry all the things that I want to carry, but not so big that I would upset Camera Girl, um, who is actually, you can see her, I'm not sure if you can see her, but she's in the background there playing with our nephew, Joshi. But uh, just big enough so I can carry all the things that I want. This won't be what's in my bag, but I've already shown you all that I'm carrying, including my, uh, my GR with the LED optics light and a sort of a small tripod. All that fits inside a bag like this. Um, sock is so that I can put, uh, you know when you get the onesie socks, you can't find this, uh, it's other, the other pair, it's brother. Uh, I just shove them inside like this and that's how I carry cameras. So uh, the point being is that when I'm on vacation, I try my best not to, I used to be sort of a, a one of those guys that carried around two, three SLRs. This is back in the film days. Uh, on our honeymoon, I, I brought, uh, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos, I brought two DSLR body, uh, two SLR bodies, film bodies, 20 rolls of film, uh, half slide, half uh, color, and, and even half of that was, I think, uh, black and white. Uh, four or five lenses, including a 200 f2.8. Uh, and my Ricoh GR, the film GR back in the days, the GR1. And in the end, that whole vacation, I think I used the 202.8 once or twice for two shots, maybe. Uh, and the GR, I basically used most of it. And then most of the time, I was just lugging all that camera equipment around. Big backpack, uncomfortable. Um, wife wasn't happy. And then in the end, we ended up eating at dinners and buffets and going to shows. And I always carried my little Ricoh GR everywhere I went. So I, whenever I go on vacation now, unless I'm doing like a review that I have to finish shooting, like for instance, if I had the Leica Q, I would have brought it up with me, which I don't. But even now at home, I have the X-T1, the new X-T10. I have a 27 pancake, 16 14 the 18, like I have tons of review stuff I could have brought up with me, but you know, on vacation with my wife and her family, her nieces and nephews, uh, sorry, nephews, uh, her sister, brother-in-law, stuff like that. Um, you know, keeping everything small is great. So I will maybe post some of the pictures just to show you. But uh, the quality of these smaller point shoots for vacation, uh, this has a two-third size sensor on the XQ2. So as small as it is, people would categorize this with maybe some of the Canon, the S120 sort of series. Uh, it Most of those have a 1 over 1.7 
inch uh, sensor. This actually has a two thirds sensor. So the the X10, X20, X30 series people had sort of complained because the size of that camera, because of the manual zoom lens, is about the size. Uh, it's, it's actually bigger than some of the newer uh, enthusiast compacts like the RX100 Mark I through four, the new Canon uh, G7X. They all have one inch sensors or even bigger like the uh, Panasonic LX100, but they're about the same size as the X30. But this one here is of its size, um, I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure, but this is probably uh, the biggest sensor camera of this category. Like here, I'm going to stand up here. Oh, I actually turned it on. Stand up here. You can see it easily fits inside a front pocket. Right? So this is easily a pocketable camera. So uh, for a vacation, 25 to 100, I think, is the uh, zoom equivalent in 35mm. Uh, if you shoot Fujifilm, uh, X series, you'd love the ecosystem of this because uh, the menus, I think the processor is the same and it is a X-Trans CMOS 2 sensor, but the menus are exactly the same as the bigger cameras like the X100 and even like uh, the X-T1s. So you'll be very comfortable shooting this as well, the color palette. If you like shooting with the uh, Fujifilm JPEGs, which are awesome, like Provia, and you shoot with this camera, you're going to get a consistent look out of all your pictures, which is kind of a big thing, I think, if you are going for consistency. And a camera like uh, the Pentax, this shoots DNG RAW files, so you can pretty much, again, if you have a certain color profile or a, a JPEG profile in your Lightroom, you can apply that, especially if you're used to shooting DNG, uh, and you'll get sort of a similar look. But the size of this is nice because uh, we went for a walk to Lost Lake, and this, you know, I mean, I, again, I had three cameras and binoculars, actually four cameras and a binocular, and I didn't feel I was uh, overweighed with too much equipment. And if I wasn't reviewing, I would have just carried probably either uh, the QX, um, the XQ2 or the Pentax QS1, one of these two cameras, and my smartphone, and that would have been more than enough uh, cameras to get all the shots that I wanted. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That was sort of my tip about traveling with cameras. It's great that you have a big, powerful camera to get those kind of shots that you really want, but when you're with family and, you know, let's say your shooting time is maybe 10% of the whole trip, like a weekend vacation, and uh, you're a significant other says all right I'll let you take off for a few minutes and take a few pictures but the majority of the time is barbecuing and going for leisurely walks or going for bike rides and stuff like that uh, you're definitely better off carrying one of these sort of smaller compact cameras and within the ecosystem of a brand so uh, if you shoot Fuji this is a great camera to have if you shoot uh, Pentax this is a great camera to have or if you shoot uh, you know Ricoh well mind you the Ricoh GR is so tiny but uh, anyways that's it for my quick video up here in Whistler um, when I get back I'm gonna finish uh, reviewing the cameras that I showed as well as looking for the GR2 testing the new uh, X-T10 against the X-T1 and whatever other things I want to do. I have uh, the new Instax camera that I have to test as well. So lots of reviews coming up. Thank you for watching. i uh, coming to you again here from Whistler wearing uh, my one of my favorite rock t-shirts, a Rush t-shirt. If you're a Rush fan, you know what era this is. If not, then you don't know what we're talking about. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Click, click.